Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello Libra and Cross Watchers. This is going to be a reading for December 9th to December 15th, 2019. Please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Hit the little thumbs up or the bell icon. Um, so please remember time is fluid. So when you come across this is probably when you're supposed to. Um, the masculine feminine energies can be vice versa. And if it doesn't apply to you, do not force it to fit, Libra. You'll know if it fits in your life. So you can transfer, trans, vice versa, the energy. So if it applies to your partner and not you, and I'm saying it's you, feel free to vice versa those. But yeah, don't make it fit, please. So I'm going to use a Mystical Cats Tarot today and the um, Chakra Wisdom Tarot. And then I will use a Fantasy Oracle card. Cat's Court Oracle card and then an Angel and Ancestor card. So here we go. So the first card we pull for you is Two of Earth. Awesome, Libra. This is strength and balance right off the bat. So something, if you're feeling like you don't have strength and balance right now, the universe is saying you do have it or they're going to give it to you. So the next card we have is a Death card. And this means that something is ending so that new things can come your way is what that means. It could be a contract with a job, it could be your car, it could be a friendship, it could be a lot of things. So Three of Fire is you looking for answers. You, um, I feel like you're looking up to the Divine to you saying, why is this happening to me? Why do I not get help with this situation? Is what that card says to me. So then two of C, this is love. Two kitties drinking from one fountain. Love. <laughs> so then we have seven of earth. This is you waiting for something. And I feel like um, it probably has to do with family because there's tree roots in that card. And then the chariot. Chariot is uh, news coming your way or risk of starting over. Maybe you're... I feel like you're waiting for news to come in. So you have strength and balance, something's ends, you're looking for answers. Uh, this is love. I don't know if it's coming into you or it's concerning a love you already have. I feel like there's family, something waiting on family, and then chariot could be a message starting over or you um, traveling somewhere possibly. So the Angel and Ancestor cards, or no, this is, sorry, this is the Wisdom, Chakra Wisdom Tarot is what these are. So the first one that comes out for you is Three of Coins. Very nice. So Three of Coins is um, growth. Plans. So you're making plans, I feel like, um, after this message comes to you or you travel somewhere is what I feel like, or change. So King of Wands, King of Wands would be, this has to do with influence. So I don't know if there's a male around you that's going to influence you, um, but that is influence. Or if you have the King of Wands persona, so to speak, and you're going to influence somebody else, possibly. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is regret and loneliness. So I feel like, yeah, some of you are feeling regret or loneliness concerning something. Wow. And then the next card, well, sorry, is Ace of Cups. Very good. Ace of Cups is love offered. So I don't know if you're loving off, you're offering love to somebody or somebody is offering love to you. Or that's what you have a regret about. That you didn't offer love or you turned somebody's love down. Um, Nine of Wands. So this would be um, recovery and stamina. So I feel like um, after the love is offered, you're going to recover and you're going to have stamina. It's going to give you the strength, which the strength card was your first card, strength and balance, to move forward. A Knight of Swords. 
The Knight of Swords is bluntness. So I don't know if you're going to be blunt to somebody, Libra, or somebody is going to be blunt to you. But that's bluntness. And usually the Knight of Swords could be cutting something out. He, he's, you're going to be blunt and say, all right, I've had enough. I can't do this anymore. Or somebody is going to say that. Three of Wands. Very nice. This is harmony. This is... A vision to a new future. You're looking ahead. And I think you had two of those. Where was that other card? Was it the three of coins? Plans and growth. Yeah, so these two go together. And they're both three. Wow, and they're both yellow. So the three of coins and three of wands is you planning your future, Libra. You're planning, you're looking ahead. So the next one is eight of cups. Eight of Cups is expansion, splendor. So whatever you're planning, it looks like um, it's going to be good for you. You're going to grow um, in your life from whatever decision you're making now. It's going to be good for you. Princess of Wands. This is independence and loyalty. So you are loyal and you are very independent. That is a good quality about you, I think that makes you who you are. The devil. This could be a Capricorn around you. Or it is a warning of jealousy. Lower vibration people. Yeah, so you decide. Is it um, a Capricorn around you? Or is it uh, people who are jealous of you? Cheating. Ace of Swords. Very good. Libra, this is you cutting something out to protect yourself. It could be a person, it could be a thing, a situation. You are going to cut something out of your life that's going to make you feel more protected. Two of Cups, somebody adores you and they would be loyal to you. Or you adore somebody else and you would be loyal to them. Or you are loyal. The Hanged Woman. So this is a delay in something, and when this comes up, it's pretty much telling you to hold back. When the delay comes, it's because the universe is not ready to give that to you for some reason. Usually you're not ready for what is coming. So if there's a delay, just hold tight, because it's from the universe, and that's the way it's supposed to be. When it's meant to come through, it will come through. Ten of Swords. So this would be exhaustion and overkill on something. You're, you're overthinking some situation. This is what I feel. So four of coins. This is a blockage in love usually, a blockage in your coins. Something is obstructing you from moving forward, and I feel like it has to do with your heart space. Ace of coins. Very good. Libra, this is a new venture. Tangible results, that's what this is. Very nice. Seven of Cups. This is choices and confusion. So some choices that you have to make are confusing to you. Hmm, I'm trying to think of... So this card came up, these two came up, and something's making you confused. So it could be your blockage in your heart that came up, before the Ace of Coins, which is a new venture. So there's a blockage, a new venture comes up, and then um, the confusion on a choice, if that makes sense to some of you. Hopefully it does. The Sun, Major Con, a very good Libra. This is belonging, a vacation, a prophecy. So you can bring to you what you want your life to, to be, is what I feel. How you want your life to be, you have the power to bring it into you. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords means that there's sneakiness around you. And the moon is usually secrets and the way she's holding her um, her swords there. Somebody is being sneaky and they're holding their secrets to them and you're unaware of it. Oh, Nine of Swords. A lot of swords. So Nine of Swords is grief and defeat about something. So maybe you find out about the sneakiness and it makes you feel 
defeated. You're like, how could this person do that to me? I can't believe. Why do people have to be sneaky? Or you're being sneaky and somebody else is going to feel, feel defeated. Nine of Cups. This represents luxury. So, hmm, when you feel defeated, Defeated, I feel like how does luxury have to do with that? And then we have the Emperor, very nice. The Emperor, Major Arcana, obviously. The Emperor is an ambitious leader. So I don't know if somebody is coming towards you that's an ambitious leader, Libra, or it's going to turn you into an ambitious leader after these two cards come up. So you see the sneakiness and the defeat, the greed. And then you have these two cards, which are very good, powerful. So let's see. And then the last one, the tower. The tower is major arcana again. And this is problems, destruction, truce, deception, and warning. So it almost seems like you move a couple steps forward, and then something happens to pull you back. You move a couple steps forward, and something pulls you back. So I don't know if that's you, kind of uh, clarify your thinking, even though there is confusion in your thoughts and delay here, or, yeah, try to... So Princess of Coins, this would be ideas and being practical. So after the to tower moment, you're going to be practical. Moon, this could represent a Pisces. Um, it could also represent um, secrets. This again is Major Arcana. This is a uh, habits prophecy. And when you see the white wolf and the black wolf and they have the light on the top of their heads, to me that's yin and yang. That's good and bad balancing itself out. So if there are secrets around you, they're going to balance out. They will. And you'll see the truth. Two of swords. Two of swords represents denial fear self-protect so something i feel like the sneakiness you it's going to make you go into self-protection mode it's going to make you on guard and i feel like that's how you're supposed to be libra it's it's normal that's kind of how you should take it six of coins very good so this is my karma card so this is people giving you things and helping you so people you have helped and put out Positive energy are going to come and help you, is what I feel, Libra. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is gossip. And I feel like you also have to have faith. When this gossip comes out, you have to have faith. Hopefully it's not you gossiping. But if it is, uh, it's telling you to have faith that things will correct themselves. So I feel like if you're going to gossip, the person's going to find out it was you. And if somebody's gossiping about you, you have to have faith that it doesn't, it's not going to affect you, basically, is how I feel. Strength. And how good a card to come out? Strength card. So let's end it there. You had the strength in the beginning and the strength in the end of your reading, Libra. The Divine is telling you you have strength and balance. I know there's a lot of stuff happening in between, but you... Um, you're going to be okay. It's going to help you grow. There's going to be a little bit of everything in there. Adoration, cutting stuff out. Um, a lot of different stuff. This is a lot of stuff coming out in your reading. I hope this makes sense to a lot of you. So the first Oracle and Fantasy Cat I have for you is Cuddling. Very nice, Libra. Beautiful. So I pull three out of the oracle out of this deck is how this works. So let's see the next one I'm pulling for you. I'll read it for a book in a minute of the Fantasy Cats Oracle deck. is Desiring Transformation. I think this was your card last time as well. You're desiring things to change. You're ready. You feel like you're ready. So this tells me you're ready, but you have to be prepared for things to be not so easy. And you are going to be fine. You're going to be able to do it, but it's not going to go as smooth as you're thinking it is. And the last card we have for you of the Fantasy Cats Oracle is Summer. The Wild Energy of Midday. This is my sensuality card. You're um, cuddling, transforming, and desiring yeah, sensuality. So let me see. So the first one was cuddling, and that was one. First card in the deck. Wow, that's nice. 
So let's see what it says. Cuddling. A adoration, show love. Draw your desire close to you with affection and appreciation. Dreams are the guiding forces of life. Align your intention and desire with the outcome you wish for. Think of how it will feel to hold, caress, and love your desire or dream situation. Feel the dream dreaming you. Rumi reminds us what you seek is seeking you. Create a bigger magnet and increase attraction by giving love and affection to all who cross your path and to all things which hold meaning for you. Imagine what you want. See the result you desire in your mind's eye. Taste and smell it as if it already is if it is already at hand. Behave as if you already hold your dream. Soon enough you will claim it and draw it close to your expansive heart. Let your dream and desire know it is safe in your soft and capable hands. Feel yourself being cuddled by the divine universal force. Allow yourself to stretch and languish at the invisible fingers of the creative principle. Release expectations. Enjoy intimacy without attachment as our feline friends teach us so well. Internal fires are stoked by energy of embracing connection. A single gesture is all it takes to provoke magnificent results when you move into the space of love. Oh, very nice. And so, yeah, Desiring Transformation pretty much speaks for itself, and the Sensuality card for Summer speaks for itself. So, okay, I'm going to pull one Angel and Ancestor card for you, Libra. So I shuffle all the cards, but I, sometimes I feel the need to cut them and shuffle them one more time before I pull one. I don't know why or where that comes from. So the Angel and Ancestor card I have for you is Druid. Hold the space. This one comes up a lot. It's weird there's so many cards in this deck, and some of them just come up multiple times. So Druid. Let's see. Even though I kind of know what he means, but I'll read them just to be clear. So, Druid, hold things together, don't make any sudden moves or changes, stand strong knowing you are where you are supposed to be. The Druids were the ancient wise ones of the British Isles. When the Druid card appears in a reading, you are being guided to dig deep within and hold your station. If you are wondering what to do next or have a sense of anxiety about what is unfolding in your life, it's time to shift your perceptions and move back to a state of trust. Don't change your plans or do anything drastic. Just trust in the process and let everything happen as it needs to before taking any more steps. Think of a tree. It has strong roots, yet continues to grow and bear fruit. Your life will be a reflection of this. Wow, I hope that helps you, Libras out there, cross-watchers. Um, thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot.